changes in demand and supply on equilibrium price part 3. In this lesson, supply remains unchanged, but demand is going to increase. We are going to analyze its effect on equilibrium price and quantity under three heads. One, supply is elastic and demand increases. To begin with, the market is in equilibrium at E1, where demand curve DD cuts the supply curve SS. The price is P1. The quantity is M1. The demand increases due to an increase in income of the consumers. The new demand curve is D1, D1. The demand curve shifts to right. The immediate effect is there arises an excess demand condition to the tune of E1, E2. The sellers are willing to supply only E1 units at price P1. But the consumers want to buy E2 units. Competition among the buyers pushes the price up along the demand curve D1, D1. As the price moves up, the producers also move up along the supply curve S, S. At last, a new equilibrium is reached at E3, where new demand curve D1, D1 cuts the supply curve S, S. The new price is P2. The new equilibrium quantity is M2. The net result is the price increases from P1 to P2. The quantity increases from M1 to M2. The impact of increase in demand is partly absorbed by price and partly by quantity. 2. Supply is perfectly elastic and demand increases. The supply is perfectly elastic, hence the supply curve is horizontal and parallel to x-axis. PS is the supply curve. The market is in equilibrium at E1, where both demand curve DD and supply curve PS cut each other. The consumers buy M1 units with an increase in demand. The curve DD moves to the right and takes position at D1, D1. The new demand curve cuts the supply curve at point E2. This is the new equilibrium point. The consumers buy M2 units. This is greater than M1. Since the supply is perfectly elastic, the sellers increase their production and meet the market demand in full at the existing price. The net result is quantity increases from M1 to M2. The price remains at P. It doesn't change. The impact of increase in demand is fully absorbed by quantity. 3. Supply is perfectly inelastic and the demand increases. Market supply curve M, S is perfectly inelastic. Hence, the supply curve is vertical and parallel to Y axis. The demand curve D, D cuts the supply curve M, S at E1. The equilibrium price is P1 and quantity is M. After an increase in demand, the new demand curve D1, D1 is formed to the right of D, D. The immediate effect is there arises an excess demand to the extent of E1, E2. The consumers are willing to buy E2 units at price P1. But the sellers want to sell only E1 units. The competition among the buyers pushes up the price along the demand curve D1, D1. But the sellers want to take full advantage of the new demand condition and fix the supply at M and move along the supply curve M, yes. Finally, a new equilibrium is reached at E3. The new price is P2. This is higher than P1. The net result is an increase in the price from P1 to P2 
and no change in quantity. The full impact of increase in demand is taken care of by the price. We shall meet in part four.